Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with. If Stick, yes, that's right. And we are casting another Akron match, this time on. Sh on Desecrated Temple against Kron and Pickley, or Kron versus Pickley. Um, yeah, uh. Is it Kron's starting on the north side and Pickley on the uh, west That's right. east side? So Kron's in the 12 o'clock position and Pickley is in the 3 o'clock position. Pickley is going Vekir and Kron has not chosen a race that we can see yet. She's gone for a perfect start, so she's still hanging out at the start of the timeline and we don't know exactly what she's playing yet. She... Look, although she is playing CISO. Yes. She often goes CISO. It's like, I've never seen her play as anything else. So... It's not exactly unexpected. <laughs> uh, Kron's building three um, re RPs on LC, an importer, and a factory. It looks like she might be going for a rush. And um, Pickley's gone pretty economic heavy. He's going to have a hard time countering the rush, if that is what Kron is going for. Yes, it's been a very popular rush nowadays, where players get three importers and then go for heavy infantry, although she is going for an early factory, so that seems less likely. She's probably going for the more popular and more standby Lancer Rush, which has been very popular since the game's been out, and that will be a bit harder for Pickley to intercept, unless he starts building Teth of Years right about now. Yeah, he's going to not st have to start building a uh, depot very quickly, and I think he has the resources to do it. I don't know what he's focusing on. Actually, it looks like Kron is sending out an ATHC to scout around to figure out where Pickley is, along with a special op. And so it looks like she's actually going for an ATHC heavy build. Oh, sorry. No, she's going for ATHC for the first, and then Lancer Rush after that. So she is going for a Lancer Rush, while Pickley hasn't actually built anything further yet. He's still about 30 seconds behind Kron. He has a depot coming up very soon, and he has quite a few, well, quite safe resources, but he still needs to get enough of the military to hold off the rush coming in, while Kron has enough resources to build a couple more Lancers. She has, at the point in time, I'm looking at 56 Liquid Crystal, while Pickley has 95 Liquid Crystal and 30 Q Plasma, so Pickley does have a much healthier economy, of course, but he's going to have to hold on to it if he, has, if he wants to stay in this game. Yeah, it takes a long time for RPs to pay for themselves, so the more you build in RPs, the longer it's going to take for you to get your resources back, and the longer you're going to be undefended. Like, have a smaller army. Oh, and it looks like Pickley's going for very quick air, very fast aerial control centered at two minutes in the game. So he's going to be going, looks of it, he has a Teth Pulsar coming in, so he's anticipating a Lancer Rush. He's probably seen that Kron is playing CISO, and anticipating a Lancer Rush is a very safe strategy. So Teth Pulsar will be very good for countering that. He doesn't have any infantry coming up, however. He does have the resources for it, but he hasn't gone and built it yet. Looks like he's building more resource processors while waiting. And the Aerial Control Center is just about done. It has finished, so we'll see now if he's going to build some air units soon or if he's still going to wait on that. Does he kind have the odd... resources to build air units? He doesn't have the Q Plasma to build air units, but he does have the resources to get some Shin Veers, which he can then use to make some air units. And it looks like Kron's actually set herself up about 15 seconds behind Pickley. But it doesn't look like she's actually taken advantage of this. She's merely t sending her scouts around with a bit more control. It looks like she has Lancer and ATHC set up that are I don't scouting think, around the map. I don't think Kron quite knows where Pickley is right now because of the random starting locations. Um, so she's scouting the map trying to find out where she, where he is. Um, has Pickley scouted out where Kron is? I'm not sure if he has, but the fact that he has a Teth Pulsar does make me think that he knows Kron is playing CISO. I'm just going to double check far into the future. It looks like neither of the players has actually gone an Echo Scout into the either one's base, though it's hard to tell. It's quite likely that the Echo Scout was cancelled, being that that's what Echo Scouts do. Looking around the timeline, it doesn't look like any of the time waves have propagated an attack, so neither player has actually gone forward with an attack to the other one yet. But Kron does have a second Lancer coming in, and she's likely to have been building a third when she was heading, so I think she's going to be building... Like I said, she is going for a Lancer rush. She's Going actually a bit more economic insurance below this Lancer Rush though, which is quite interesting. She's quite right next to the unplayable past. It looks like she knows where Pickley is simply by process of elimination. And right next to the unplayable past, it appears that she is sending out an attack. Yes, she is. There's a Lancer Rush going in right at the edge of the unplayable past, a delayed attack. 
So Pickley won't even know this is coming until after it hits, and he's going to have barely any time to respond to it, if at all. His Teth Pulsar has not been built yet, but it's going to be coming up very soon. Looks like it has about 10 seconds or so before it comes up. The Lance Rush is going to be in right now, or in a couple seconds. <laughs> um, yeah. Pickley, he does a very good job of Pickley for choosing to build Teth Pulsars. Um, just in case to counter any of uh, Krun's uh, Lancer rushes. But it looks like it's not quite in the right place to attack the Lancer. It was attacked by the ATHC, which then cloaked, and it went for the Lancer, but it got destroyed before it was able to do any damage. Um, the second Teth Pulse, it still looks like it's about 30 seconds away. This is looking really, really bad for Pickley right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like Pickley's trying to get Gate Tech or anything in the future. He does have, further in the future, he does seem to be in a better position. He looks like he will recover, but that's on the one part of the time wave. The other part of the time wave where Kron is looking, he's in a much more dire situation. He's lost his aerial control center. He seems to have beaten back the attack. And actually, it looks like he's managed to control... It looks like... Has he managed to control his Teth Veer in? Or Teth Pulsar in? Because it looks like he's managed... Yes, he's actually getting more Teth Veers. So... And a Shin Veer as well. For detecting the cloaked unit. And it looks like he's actually managing to hold off the attack as it comes into his base. Yes, it is. He sends the Teth Pulsar out. So Teth Pulsar is doing some damage. This is further back again. This is... For people watching, this is still about... A minute before we were watching before. And it looks like, yes, a Teth Pulsar coming in. Even the Zion Pulsar, I think, is coming in. Yeah, the Zion Veer, sorry. The Zion Veer is coming in. Oh, the Zion Pulsar, of course, it can't attack air. But the Zion Veer is coming in. Destroyed the Lancer. The ATHC is still cloaked, but the Shin Veer will be remedying that very quickly. Looks like, if we fast forward, we'll see it coming in and being very useful very quickly. The Shin Veer has come in. Now the ATHC is being destroyed. The Lancer is going to be destroyed very quickly as well by the Teth Pulsar. So, it looks like this rush has been held off very effectively by Pickley. Very well done. Wow, that was... that was close. Um, yeah, and Kron started building another factory and has another importer on the field. Um, she's going to be start building more and more troops very soon. Um, Pickley's going to have to start focusing on building more units as soon as he can. But, you'll notice, um, he's got a Shin, Shin Pulsar, sorry. Moving around the field, maybe scouting for Kron's location. Maybe it's going to start tapping. Yeah, it's, yes, it's seeing Kron's location. It's going to start her. tapping RPs right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so at this point, both players are actually attacking each other. There is a foundation up for Pickley, so his Teth Pulsar has been almost completely healed up. But this special op is doing quite a bit of damage. The foundation continuing to heal up while the Shin Pulsar is scouting around, making sure that Kron hasn't taken her third and now attacking Kron's main. But it has been knocked down, so the Shin Viewer is trying to run away, retreat so it doesn't get killed in the process, and then hopefully get back to its own base. So if that can actually re-enter a vehicle and continue to fight. At this point, Kron actually has a very safe economy. The point in time I'm looking at, which she's going to focus on her, she has 215 LC, 54 QP, and she actually has a Lancer and Tornad coming in to try to take care of the Shin Veer. So the Shin Veer is going to die very quickly. Unfortunate for it. But, of course, Kron is going to be going for that. So it looks like Pickley at this point really needs to build up some more. He has quite a few resources in reserves himself. He doesn't have a lot of Q Plasma, but he has a lot of Liquid Crystal, so he can build a lot of infantry to work in the meantime, and he's also getting a couple more Shin Pulsars in his depot. They'll be coming out in about 5 seconds, and it looks like he's got his harassment forces rebuilt, so he is going to try harassing further, but at this point, Kron is going for a second rush, or second attack with the Tornod and Lancer. There needs to be more anti-air. The Teth Pulsar has been fully healed, but it's still not going to be enough against the Tornods. Two Tornods, actually, and a Lancer. The Teth Pulsar, on its own, will not be enough against this, even with the healing. So the Shin Pulsars are coming in, they're attacking to the middle, and it looks like they actually will be intercepting this rush before it happens. Or attack before it happens, I should say. Or not, they're actually moving they're, fast. They didn't attack move. They're moving up towards Kron's base. Um, I wonder if maybe he's going to use them to strategically strike Kron's RPs, but they're defended now, and Kron's sending in a Tornade attack force with a single Lancer up towards Pickley's base. But they're going back now. They're going to defend Kron's base. I don't know. This doesn't look great for Pickley, but he's got a lot of units in the depot right now. And auto defense. So he's got in a pretty defensive position right now, even though Kron has quite a large army and has two factories building units. And a macro fab on the way with frigates coming out. Well, it should be noted that, of course, CISO needs to get one factory for every unit they build, while Vecure can build as many units as they want, or almost as many units as they want, in a depot at once. So, at this point, Pickley is 
just trying to take care of his position as best he can. He is in a defensive position, but he is going to be able to rebuild from here if he keeps himself alive, which it looks like he's in a good position to do. He will need to expand to his natural very quickly if he wants to stay in the game, but at this point, Kron hasn't expanded either, so it's really a matter of just making the production count to get a large enough army to defend any expansions that might come up in the future. Um, you'll also notice, um, I don't know, not maybe where you are, but um, Pickley has built two Teth Pulses, and they're out on the... Sorry, not Teth Pulses. Uh, Zion Pulses, that's what I meant. Uh, he has two Zion Pulses out on the field, which I don't know why he does, because Kron really doesn't have many ground units. She's focusing entirely on her air army right now. With the Tornade, she's really going to destroy those Zion Pulses. Yeah, that does seem like a strange move. I think maybe he was thinking either a mistake or he was thinking Kron might switch strategies or possibly he wanted to use them to die near resource processors or resource crates so he could build resource processors with them. But I really think that was a mistake on his part, which is rather unfortunate. He does have a Teth Tercher and two Teth Pulsers, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take care of the forces of Kron coming in right now. There's two Tornads, three Lancers, one Frigate, another, looks like probably another Tornad coming in from the base. No, another Lancer coming in from the base. And they're doing quite a number on Ipsi on <laughs> on Pickley's base, isn't that right, Ipstick? Yes, that is just right, Shadow Fury. Um, this really doesn't look for, look good for Pickley. He's back in time. He might be changing something, but no, not really. It, it looks like he's going to lose very soon. But with auto defense on his buildings, he's managing to defend quite well. But I don't know. Do you think it will be enough, Shadow Fury? Well, Auto Defense does have the strange property of often causing units to get a bit confused, and the fact is that it is dealing a lot of damage. If you look at all the units getting attacked, they're taking a lot of damage. The Auto Defense really it seems to be doing the most damage to those units of anything that's come up so far. A couple of Shin Pulsers coming in from the depot as well. Those probably won't help too much. They're fairly generalist units, but there's still a fair amount of damage to be done. As long as they can get rid of this frigate pretty quickly, and it is attacking from the ground, so a bit of an advantage. The frigate's almost dead, so the frigate is pretty much dead. Kron hasn't managed to respond yet, and she is focusing on this time. She hasn't responded to it yet. She has more Lancers coming up. She has no units in her macro fab. She has a lot of resources, though. I'm surprised she isn't going for anything like Gay Tech or isn't trying to get more more resource processors, really. Resource processors, at this point, that is what she really needs. Well, she's she has... expanding to the top left right now. Um, I don't know. Back in the oh, past, yes, yes she she's is. expanding. She's getting lots of QP. It looks like she does plan on getting Gay Tech. And really, QP is what's required just to start chronoporting all over the place. And it looks like that's in her long-term plan, which is why she's going so heavy on the QP right now. Yeah, and if you notice, she has quite a bit less QP than Elsie. She has about 10 times as much Elsie as QP. And she really doesn't have a whole lot that she can do with it if she doesn't get more. <laughs> Though she is getting more, so once, that, once the time wave comes in with these new resource processors, it should be quite effective for taking care of what forces come in from Pickley right now for her to get more forces coming in. But Pickley seems to have anticipated this, and he's actually sending in some Shin Pulsers to attack this expansion to prevent it from doing anything really before it pays for itself. Yeah, and he's going to see also that Kron has placed lots of RPs on the Q Plasma and identify maybe that she's going to start going heavy on the gate tech and start Kron importing around the place. Um, it might be a smart move for Pickley to either get gate tech Unfortunately, we can't see what he has researched that for this far, but he may have already researched it. Hmm. Judging by his resource expenditure, he doesn't appear to have researched it yet. He doesn't even have enough QP to research it or make good use of it. He will need to expand in order to have any chance of getting Gate Tech to counter Krons. While Kron, as I mentioned before, is getting her RPs very heavily attacked. A Lancer is coming in to try to defend, but it's not enough at this point. Although surprisingly, she hasn't really built a lot of forces. She does have a lot of LC, and that can at least give her mechs and infantry, which mechs are incredibly useful against any air units, which seems to be the focus of Pickley at this point. He doesn't build a lot of ground units. He's building a lot of air to counter air, and it looks like the Shin Veer is dead, the Shin Pulsar is dead, so the expansion will pay for itself. Kron has actually quite a bit of QP right now. She's probably going to be getting... Yeah, she's. I'm sure she's going to be getting Gate Tech very soon. Shin Pulsar, Shin Tercher coming in from Pickley, but it really is not enough. Pickley needs to get a fairly large consolidated force, probably get Gate Tech, and then from there he can work to get a good offensive, but if he's just sending unit after unit one at a time, they're not going to be doing very much at all. Yeah, they're really not doing a lot of damage. He needs to be focusing either more on uh, attacking Kron's RPs, 
or getting gate tech so that he can um, upgrade skipping on his units and just utilize the strategy far more effectively um, that he's using right now. But yes. That, yeah, that's not what he's doing. He, he seems to be pumping all of his resources into uh, his units, primarily building uh, shin pulses. And he hasn't expanded at all. Unless he expands soon, he's going to run out of resources very soon. And um, maybe even lose the game as a direct result of. His QP crates are half empty. Well, a bit more than half, actually. And he's only harvesting off of one LC crate. If he doesn't notice this and move his RPs around, this could be very bad for him. Yeah, but at the same time, he has very good reason not to do that. He doesn't have a very good position. He's been building a ton of Shin Pulsers, decent generalist units, but they are only good in numbers. I mean, admittedly, they are cheap, so it's easy to mass them, but he doesn't have the resources to do so, unfortunately, as much as he is trying to. He does have another Shin Tercher coming in, but really, what he needs is Teth Tercher's, Teth Pulsers. Actually, what he really needs is, could really use his Halcyon class on top of Gate Tech. Send some Teth Halcyons back in time, and it'd be very effective against the forces of Kron coming in. And Kron coming in with another attack force, frigates, three frigates, four tornads, very powerful, that'll be very effective in the coming attack, and it looks like she hasn't actually built gate tech yet, although she may build gate tech a bit in the future from where I'm sitting. But her attack is coming in, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. One of the foundations is dead, tornads coming in, tagging RPs, looks like one of the, looks like the aerial control center is too soon going to be attacked, one of the Shin Veers coming in, about to die, Shin Turcher coming in, a couple more Shin Pulsers in the back, they haven't attacked yet, it looks like... The Shin Pulsers are going to be getting killed very quickly. The, yes, the attack is hardly doing anything. The Shin Veers can't even get to the ground before they get shot again. Completely dead. So it looks like there isn't much that Pickley can do at this point. He really needed to get Gate Tech. If he goes into the far future, he might just be able to get Gate Tech in time and be able to get something out of it, but I really doubt it. He No, at this point, where he's sitting, he doesn't have anything. He knows he doesn't have anything. He has a depot, a few RPs. Back where Kron is, her attack is doing quite a bit of damage, and she knows already that her attack is going to be very successful. So at this point, it's really just a matter of waiting for Pickley to call GG, because I don't see any way he could possibly get out of this. For what he has now, unless he... Never mind, there, there it is, go. the GG. So um, that, was, that was a very smart move for Kron, building all those Tornades to destroy the buildings, which were the main threat there, because the buildings themselves were the ones that were providing most of the defense for Pickley. By focusing on the Tornades, she's, um, she has the ability to destroy the building so much more quickly. Yes, it's very interesting. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everyone. Yes, good night.